Uh, first of all, uh, I did see you on your Facebook or Instagram post uh, a few weeks ago when you bought the suit and uh, you must be pretty chuffed that you can wear it in a, in a post-fight scrum when you won the fight. That's it. I mean, I visualised that, you know, get the win, get that finish, be wearing the suit, uh, looking all nice after it and looking forward to a couple of um, celebration drinks with my friends. And, what was yep. it like being out there? Obviously, it's not just out there tonight, but when you found out that the UFC was coming to Scotland, coming to Glasgow, you'd be on the card helping promote it and then finally be able to fight and perform and win in front of that Scottish crowd tonight. I mean, well, it's an answer. They were coming to Scotland before I was even in the UFC. I still hadn't had the call, so. Um, I suppose when it was announced, I was just hoping that I was going to get that call. I kind, I kind of thought that that would be my debut um, because I had worked hard outside the UFC. You know, I was Cage Warriors champion. Um, I had been Barnmar champion. Um, I was always taking tough fights and beat. Um, I was one of the top UK guys, so I expected this to be my debut. But you know, it worked out even better. I got the win in Poland, um, and yeah, now I've got. Two wins, two stoppages, and Steve, you were about a year ago. You know, you were in a point in your career where you didn't really know what was going to be next. You were waiting for that call from the UFC. You know, it was a tough time. You know, obviously you were moving about in Scotland as well. To be here, to be here in Scotland, to get such an emphatic victory, looking at some of the struggles you faced in the past, does that just make everything so much sweeter? Yeah, I mean, it just—it's still all surreal. Um, even before it. It just feels absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I've had so many hard times. Um, and I suppose, uh, you know, people were telling me, you know, like they, they've had hard times and you look back and you've just got to keep, you know, people were trying to motivate me, keep going, you know, you'll look back and laugh one day and it will all be worth it. And, you know, I kind of thought that was maybe just a bit of encouragement and didn't think it would come true. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a blessing in disguise and um, I'm just overwhelmed with, with everything that's happened. How did that win in Poland help you going into this fight? Uh, yeah, I mean, it worked out even better because, uh, you know, I got the debut in Poland. Um, I wasn't too nervous in Poland. Um, I really thought that, you know, I'd be really nervous, but walking out, it, I felt comfortable. Um, I just felt like I was doing what I always did, you know, because I've fought on top shows. Um, I was a little bit more nervous for this one because uh, I had a lot of fans here, um, all depending on me. And, um, but yeah, even, you know, I still felt comfortable out there, um, considering, you know. Would you surprise that on your second fight, the UFC put you on straight onto the main card, uh, and did that add any more pressure? I mean, I was a little bit surprised. Um, because, you know, there was already other Scottish fighters um, in the UFC um, and there was a lot of good fights being announced. So, you know, I kind of thought, nah, I'll, yeah, I'll not be on the main card, I'll be on the prelims, you know. So when I was told I was on the main card, it was quite a shock. But now looking back, I understand why. Um, it took me a little bit longer to get to the UFC. Um, but, you know, I was... I was um, fighting on the top shows out with the UFC, Cage Warriors, Bama, and, um, and yeah, so, and obviously it maybe has something to do with the fact that I've taken tough fights, um, I know uh, there's a lot of other guys out there that got offered Leonardo Mafra um, and didn't take it, um, and I'm, I'm not that type of fighter, I, I took it straight away. Talking about the fight, you hurt him, I think you hurt him once and then you didn't finish him but you was trying to, did you, and then, then obviously you got the finish, was, was you sort of conscious that you didn't want to go too much in case his chin was better than you thought and then you tied yourself out or was you ready to just smash it and get the win? And that was it, I mean, um, all these guys, all, uh, I'm, I'm starting to see the you know, the success in my hands a lot more now. Um, uh, when I hit people in the gym, they always tell me, um, you know, I've got hands like rocks and um, I'm a heavy hitter. I've always been told that, but uh, yeah, I mean, I know that he fought wild and I wasn't going to try and get into that, but um, I hurt him with that right hook. And then as soon as I seen him sort of doing the chicken dance or whatever, um, that was it. Technique went out the window and I was getting that fight finished and I knew that 
if I landed another shot like the one I landed, then uh, it was going to be game over. What does this event mean to, to Scotland? And I saw a quote from the UFC PR team has come out where you said that you hope this will help educate um, the Scottish public and the UFC coming here. Can you elaborate a little bit more about what, you, what this means? Yeah, well, I mean, Scotland loves fighting. I mean, they've, they've got history. Um, fighting's in our blood. Um, it's also a, a country where they like to drink. and um, So, yeah, to, to see this, I mean, I knew that it was going to be a sellout and but there is a lot of uneducated people out there um, because MMA is not that big in Scotland I mean it's getting bigger and there's more people getting involved but um, you know there's people out there that I know it's everywhere like that but there's a lot of uneducated people that don't understand what our sport is and how technical it is um, yeah so I just hope that they can get a bit more educated and get involved But yeah, being part of the UFC when it came to Scotland and being Scottish, it was always a worry, you know, they finally came to Scotland after us begging them for years and then there's that kind of worry where it's on your shoulders, you know, what if it doesn't um, sell much tickets and it doesn't sell out, but yeah, it's just unbelievable the fact, I think it was a couple of hours that officially sold out and um, yeah, and the, I mean, there's a lot of people out there um, friends of mine and fans of mine that wanted to come but just couldn't because it was sold out. Going on to this, from this fight, do you see when you want to get back out there, the UFC go to Dublin in October, is that a card you can see yourself on? Yeah, I mean, I've came out there, um, I've not got any injuries, I mean I did, there has been a little, a uh, few niggles throughout fight camp. Um, I had an accident four weeks ago. That is better now. Um, I mean, it was a bit of a struggle throughout fight camp getting past that um, and trying to fit all my training in. But that's all better now. Um, I'm not sure if I've done something to my lower back. It's been tightening up. And just before I, w I went out to the cage, it was a bit um, uh, feeling it as well. But I never got hurt in the fight. And I feel good now. Um, so I'll see. I mean, Dublin would maybe be a. Is it Dublin that it's going yeah. to Ireland? Yeah. Yep. Anyone in mind who you'd like to fight? That's my fiance's birthday as well. Hers is the 26th of October, so you know it could be a good wee um, weekend away. I've not really got anybody in mind. I mean, um, me and Norman Park had a, a little bit of uh, talk on Twitter, um, and yeah, so I think that would maybe make a good fight. Um, being and, in Ireland. How, how would you see a fight between yourself and Norman going? Um, well, I, I always believe I can beat anybody that the UFC put in front of me. Norman Park's uh, one of the top sort of European guys. He's been in the UFC a while. Um, we're both southpaw, um, both fairly similar in styles. Um, I mean, if I if I was going to fight um, fight him, then obviously I believe I'd knock him out or submit him. But um, yeah. Are you going to celebrate the win? Uh, not too sure yet, to be honest. I don't like making plans. I mean, a lot of people always ask me what am I doing after it and try and make plans for the next day and the next week. But um, I just um, go with the flow. I mean, I, I like to just fight and then see what happens. <laughs> Is she all right? Yeah, yeah my teammate's fine. Is she all right? She wants to hit quite a bit. Well, congratulations yeah. on your win. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys.